What's up everybody, Derek Pierce here, and in today's video, we're gonna be going over ConvertBox. ConvertBox is a web-based application that allows you to capture leads. It's a list building tool, and it happens to be the simplest tool that's out there that I found where you can capture emails from your blog. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into my computer and we're gonna be doing a deep dive into ConvertBox. I'm gonna show you how it works, show you the review, show you all the different features that comes with it because there's been several upgrades that's been made recently since I did the last ConvertBox review. And I wanna just kinda of take it for a spin and show you exactly what this is. First and foremost, if you're new here to the channel, be sure to subscribe or release digital marketing videos just like this one and I'd love to have you on the channel. Also, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up as this helps me get found in the algorithm. So let's go ahead, let's dive in the computer and I'm gonna show you how this whole thing works. So we are inside my ConvertBox account and I have set this up under a new domain. I have several domains and that's one of the good things about ConvertBox is you can apply this across multiple domains. I've done that so that way you can see what it looks like from scratch. So just like if you were just coming in here for the very first time, you're not overwhelmed with all the boxes that I have built and all the stats and whatnot that I have on all those domains. Uh, so this is just like you would if you were just starting from scratch. Before we go in here and click to create a new convert box, and I'll show you how that easy how easy that is just in a moment, I want to first show you the integrations tab. So if we go to settings and you go to integrations, you can see that this integrates with just about every major player that's out there. And this will integrate with the API so that way you're not having to copy any HTML code or anything like that. This just flat out works. You click connect and it's gonna connect with the API and then your forms will then talk back and forth with your autoresponder dropping the people's uh, email and names or all the information that you're gathering into your email autoresponder. Very seamless, very easy to do once you get it all set up. So uh, we're gonna go back here to the dashboard and before I go into this, I should let you know that I bought this. I'm an actual customer and I've been 100% happy with ConvertBox and more importantly, they've continuously made upgrades over the last two years that, uh, that I wasn't really expecting. And so that's a, that's a pleasant surprise because a lot of times you see, when you see a lot of software, uh, sometimes people just don't take care of the, the main core things and they don't upgrade the way that they are supposed to. This has far exceeded my expectations and uh, my estimation, this is one of the best web-based applications for uh, getting leads and list building that's, that's there. And uh, it's super easy to use as you're gonna see. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click new convert box and we're gonna call this uh, search stacks full page because I'm going to I'm going to build a full page the first one and then we're going to give this a name for this group and we're just going to call this SS main and then we're going to click to select convert box type. So one of the things that I talked about that was a recent upgrade is this embedded feature. When I first picked this up all they had was the overlay, which was good. You had the sticky bar, you had the call out, the full page, and then the center. Now you've got the embedded option to where you can plug in the small embed. This is gonna go in your sidebar. Uh, on mine, it's on the right side. You, you can see on the right, right hand side, there's a small embed option where people can sign up for a newsletter. That's where mine is. If depending on where your sidebar is, you can have it on the left side, doesn't matter, but that's where that's going to go. You've got the large embed that's going to actually appear inside the content. The cool thing about this is you can dictate which pages, which post this goes to. You can dictate how this appears and you've got all kinds of advanced options that you can use to uh, show these and display these uh, these opt-in forms. So again, we got the sticky bar. This is what's gonna be on top of your website. And then you've got the call out. This is looks almost like a chat box in the right-hand side, or you can put it in the left-hand side, doesn't matter, but it's displayed right here on the right. This is gonna look like a little chat box. And then you've got the center, and then you've got the full page. We're going to select the full page because this is what I use a lot of times as an exit pop. So if you've been to my Think Tank Lab site and you tried to leave, this is what this is. There's an exit pop that pops up and it's offering a free video training. That's what that is. So we're gonna click right here to select one of these or you can build from scratch if you wanted to. If you don't like the look of one of these templates, you can always click here to build this from scratch. So. Here's the, you know, you've got the workshop option, you've got the lead gen option, you've got the consulting, you've got the report segmentation. One of the more advanced things that ConvertBox has is the ability to segment based on 
a, a quiz building and these conditional logics based on what it is that your users select. So you could have multiple options and based on what they select, you can have all kinds of different scripts firing and you can add them to different segments of your, of your email autoresponder based on what they select. It's a little bit more advanced than what I want to do inside this video, but just let you know that that is available there. And this is one of the more, like I said, one of the more advanced tools that you can use for segmenting your list. Now, what we're going to do is we're just going to select this basic one here, this lead gen, and just show you how this works. If you don't want this user profile here, then you can just uncheck this right here and you can see this will just go directly to a opt-in box that you see here. Now you can change everything. If you want to change, you know, the background color, you can change that. If you want to do an uh, overlay background color, you can do that. Um, a background image, you can do that. So you've got full customization and you're not having to worry about, you know, lining everything up and making sure everything is fitting on the page because this is all done basically for you. So you can see you've got the desktop preview and then you can click on the mobile to see what it's going to look like on the mobile device all right here from one dashboard. So what we're going to do here is I'm just going to show you a few of the features and how this whole thing works. So this right here is your basic you know, headline. So it says we're sharing everything on a journey from zero to one million in revenue. And if depending on what it is that you're in, depending on what niche you're in, you wanna obviously change that. So you can just simply come in here and edit the text. So I'm just gonna do, uh, something like that. Now this is me just doing this on the fly. That probably could be a lot better, but we can change that text color if we want to. If we want to change it to a uh, you know change to a different color. If we want to change the font, we can change the font. I typically go with Roboto, Oswald, or um, or Railway. Typically, those are the three fonts that I that I use in most cases. So if I select that, you can see we've got a little bit of a different look. We can change the font size. If we want to make this bigger, then we could do that as well. If you want to bold it, underline it, you've got all of these options that are at your disposal right here. Now, then you've got this option here, enter your email. Uh, you can change this obviously if you want to, and then you can customize the opt-in form. So for example, if we wanted to make the form small, we could do that. If we wanna make it larger, medium size, we can do whatever. We can also change, again, change the, the button family, uh, or the button font family, I should say. If we wanna change that, make that look a little different. If you wanna change the, the, the button color, you could do that right there. Very easy to do, you don't have to really know any con anything real complex or anything like that. Um, now, once you get that set up, once you get that the look that's the way you want it, then this is where you're going to go to your form settings. So you, this is where you can add the different fields from this form. So let's say we wanted to add, you know, the first and last name. You could do that right there, and you can make this a required field. You can, uh, you, you've got all kinds of different options here. I'm not going to really go into. I'm just going to click add field. Let's say you want to add a phone number. You can add a phone number here. And this is what it's going to look like. So now you've got your name, your email, and your phone number, and you can, you know, you can sort these where the way that you want, how you want them in uh, in line. So if you wanted to move, you know, the the first name or your name uh, up, and then have it email, and then the phone number, you could do that very easily just by dragging this this way right here. Now. When I started, when I started trying to figure out how to customize these forms to where they had name, email, phone number, and then making sure that they, you know, all lined up, it was such a hassle. I will say this, the less you ask for on your opt-in forms, the greater it's going to increase your response. So if you ask for name, email, phone number, I'm not, I'm not saying not to do that, but just don't expect the uh, response rates to be as great as opposed to just having an email. The less people have to fill out, the better your opt-in, the better response you're going to have. So once you do that, you go right here to actions and then uh, you can select what you want when somebody fills in this form. So you can, uh, 
open another convert box if you want to jump to the next step most of you are going to use this for is redirecting to the url because after all if somebody is opting in to your form then what you're going to do is you're going to carry them to the thank you page and that thank you page is going to tell them what's going to happen next maybe it's a download for a report maybe it's a free video training or maybe you're sending them to you know something like a sales letter or a video sales letter where you're actually selling a product so this is where you're going to redirect the url so in this case we're just going to be doing http And this is not a real URL. <laughs> so then you can open up in a new tab if you want to. But what I want to pay, what I want you to see is the integrations. This is where we can add these integrations with our active campaign or with your uh, AWeber campaign, or if you've got a GetResponse campaign, or if you're using Infusionsoft or something like that, you can integrate it with that. I'm not going to do that right now. I'm just going to leave this as it is. I'm just going to click save just for this demonstration purposes. Now, if we wanted to create an A-B split test to see what is going to work best, we can do that right from this dashboard right here by just clicking create an A-B split test and you can create a new variation of this opt-in form. Okay, so it's very easy to do just by clicking this. You, Everybody's told you, all right, you've got to split test things, right? You've got to split test the headlines. You've got to split test your forms. you got to split test all this stuff. So that's the cool thing about it. You don't have to really do anything complex. You just simply click this, create a different variation, and uh, you can just change out the headline for that matter to start with and see what happens with it. And that way you, can, you know what your control needs to be. So once we get this the way that we want this, we simply click next. Now this is where you have a lot of diff different customizations. Now we've looked, we've had, we've got the form looking the way that we want it. Now we can dictate when this opt-in box is going to show. So you can see right here, the trigger is right now is when a visitor is on our page for five seconds. So we can click edit. We can change that if we want it to, to be longer or shorter or whatever, we can do this for scrolling on a page. So if we wanted to do scroll on a page, uh, when the visitor reaches a certain percentage on the page, then it will appear. You can see period of no activity. So if somebody is just sitting there, you can have something pop up. You know, let's say for example, uh, if they're there for you know 10 to 30 seconds and it doesn't look like they're doing anything, you'd have this pop up show up that says, hey, you know, wake up or something along those lines, right? You can also do page abandonment. This is the one that I use. This is if somebody is clicking the back button or trying to uh, exit, having, uh, you know, trying to escape the page, then you can do that. Uh, you can also have this clicking on a link on a page. So let's say, for example, you are, you've got a very in-depth content piece and you're wanting to have this pop-up appear once they click a link that's what that's for right there so we're just going to select this as time on page we're just going to leave this at uh at five seconds and we're going to click done you can set the frequency here if you wanted to do right now set up for one time per session with a maximum of three times in total you could do this per day you could do you know you can set this up ever how you want um i'm gonna just leave it as it is now the location you can select this to be on all of your pages or you can put conditions so you can add these display rules to where it will only appear in certain url strings or on certain pages you can also set this to where it will exclude on certain pages so for me for example uh insert with search stacks that site i actually run a membership site on the back end of it that's mainly what that's for is to house all of my you know my membership content and that sort of thing so I wouldn't want a pop up in my members area. So that would be where I would add this exclude display rule to where it doesn't appear in that particular content. So I'm just gonna leave this as it is right here where it's all pages, but just know that you can uh, segment that based on which page that you want. And that works really good too if you are, let's say running multiple angles and having multiple you know, topics that you're talking about. So let's say, for example, you've got a, a health website, an overall website that's all about health and fitness. And you've got one segment that's all about diet and, and recipes. And then you've got another segment that's all about exercises. Well, you could have two totally different offers, two totally different opt-in forms based on what page they're on. One offering, you know, free diet or free recipe book or something along those lines. And then the other one talking about your, you know, your fitness tips and, and that sort of stuff. 
Now, your targeting, you can show this to all visitors or you can target specific visitors. You can have conditional rules for that. And so you can do this based on how many times they've actually viewed your, uh, viewed your site. Again, this is some of the more advanced uh, features that you have within the targeting that we're not really going to dive into, but just realize that's there. You got the next, you've got the launch. We're going to give this the name, and then this is where you can schedule a start and end date if you wanted to. I'm going to leave this to inactive, and we're going to continue and save this anyway. You've got three options to publish this. You can install a WordPress plugin. You can just add the script to the site, which is what I've done. I just added this script to my header. And so that way, anytime I want to roll out one of these, then it's just a matter of just coming in here and creating it inside ConvertBox and setting the conditions and the logics of where I want it to appear and how I want it to appear, and it will fire. So that's all there is to it. So now we'll go to our dashboard. So once your convert box starts firing and people start seeing this, you are going to see your daily or your activity snapshot here where you see your views, your interactions, and your leads. If you want a more detailed breakdown, just simply hit the stats tab and you can sort this based on the group and you can sort this based on the convert box itself. So that way you get a breakdown of which ones are performing the best and which ones are converting the best. And then that way you can make modifications from there if that's something that you wanted to do. Also, if you want to add a new convert box you simply click right here and you go through this process that we just did it's very very easy to do and the cool thing about it is if you've got the plugin installed or if you have the script installed on your site then you can skip that particular step and you can just come in here and sort this out based on where you want or what kind of form you want if you wanted the you know the sticky bar at the top or if you wanted the little chat looking window or if you wanted to it to appear on certain pages and not on certain pages you could come in here and customize this any way that you want but you can have multiple of these convert boxes running on the same domain just like what i have so Wrapping this thing up, I highly encourage you to invest in ConvertBox. You will find two links inside the description. One goes directly to the ConvertBox offer with the special pricing that they have locked in for a very short period of time. From my understanding, that is not gonna be around very much longer. So if you click on that link, there, that's in the description that's going to take you to that page where you can pick up your own copy of convert box if you want to see my full-blown review that breaks down the pricing and everything else then you can hit the link that goes to my website that's also in the description so so in closing and wrapping this video up i appreciate you watching this and i look forward to seeing you guys in the next video take care and i'll talk to you real soon